why are so many truthers Christians? And this is obvious for us who are Christians because we know who Jesus is. But I was reading the Bible the other night and I read this verse and it didn't stick out to me before really besides it just being great like all the Bible is. But then I was reading this the other night and it just really stood out to me and I was thinking about how I need to make a video on just this verse. And I have some other verses here too. But let's look at this verse, John 18, 37. Pilate therefore said to him, are you, are you a king then? Jesus answered, you say rightly that I am a king. For this cause I was born, and for this cause I have come into the world, that I should bear witness for, to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth hears my voice. So this is a very clear understanding, and this is also a testament to Jesus Christ that so many people who are seeking the truth come to Jesus Christ and are Christians. So many people in the truther community are Christians because they hear the voice of Jesus and seek the truth. And this is a testament to Jesus because we know John 14, 6, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So Jesus himself is fully the truth. He is 100% tr the truth. So if you're seeking the truth, then you will hear the voice of Jesus and he will call to your heart and you will be saved through him. And this is the reason why so many people who are seeking the truth and who are truthers, quote unquote, and who are just looking into information and wanting to know the truth and looking at the times and trying to discern everything are Christians. It's because of this reason. And another another uh, verse I wanted to share was John 8, 31 through 32. The truth shall make you free. Then Jesus said to the Jews who believed in him, who believed him, if you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So the truth shall make you free because you follow Jesus Christ. If you are being led in a way and you start to feel confused that just makes me think right now of the verse you know god isn't the author of confusion and so we know this <clears throat> first corinthians fourteen thirty three: for god is not the author of confusion but of peace as in all churches as in all churches of the saints god is the author not of confusion not of confusion but of peace and so this is why so many truthers are, are Christians or come to know Jesus Christ. And that's why if you're absolutely seeking the truth, you need to look into who Jesus truly is if you don't know him. I mean, this is somebody who hundreds of prophecies were written about, and then he came and fulfilled them all. This is somebody who, when he came to earth, prophesied that he would die and then raise from the dead three days later and prophesied his own death. And so somebody comes to earth and they they prophesy the exact way they're going to die and and in as they're coming into the earth are f fulfilling hundreds 600 year old prophecies written about them that's obviously the truth and that's a supernatural truth which is found through God alone in Jesus Christ. So I wanted to share these verses with you because they're great verses, and if you are seeking the true truth, you will find Jesus Christ, and that's where true peace is found. And that's where, if you're starting to be confused on things, seek him, and he will help you and give you peace. Because he is the author of peace as well. And so, yeah, this is just an awesome verse. The amazing words of Jesus, I'm just going to read them again. Jesus answered, I'll read it from the beginning. Pilate therefore said to him, Are you a king then? Jesus answered, You say rightly that I am a king. For this cause I was born, and for this cause I have come into the world, that I should bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth hears my voice. If you are of the absolute truth, you will hear the voice of Jesus, and you will find him. Don't have a hardened heart. Open ears and open eyes. Seek the absolute truth of the one who came and fulfilled hundreds of prophecies. So that's it. You could do a, a greater study on this, and there's definitely more than just this, but I just wanted to share this with you because this is what came to me, and I uh, thank you for watching. God bless.